In this lecture, we are going to discuss the text representation schemes. As we know that textual data is not structured because the words are in different orders and they are of different length. Now some may argue that they still have a structure like having paragraphs and sentences however, in case of machine learning, we cannot consider that a structured format. Because for machine learning, the data has to be structured in a matrix-like format and secondly, it cannot process text, instead we will have to convert our text into numbers. So the desired format for machine learning techniques is to represent a text like this where the columns represent features or unique set of words and the rows represent individual documents. The value in a cell that may be a number representing the frequency of that feature in that document or it can also be binary representation having zeros and ones. When this structured data is presented into a model as past cases, a model can be trained. And this model, when it differentiates between the different types of documents, then it can make predictions on the new cases. And that's what we require from a machine learning technique to give us a model that can decide the label of an unseen document. When our training data has got labels also like over here we have got in the last column, true means that this row that represents probably an email is a spam email and the second one is not and the second one is not a spam email so represented by false if this column is presented the training data is a labeled training data and such training data is required for supervised learning that is training classifiers if this column is not provided still the data is of help and we can use an unsupervised or clustering technique to deal with it So the process is called vectorizing the data or converting our textual documents into vectors like these, where we have got documents as rows and words as features in the columns. In case the tokens or the unique sort of features are from T1 to Tn, so we have a total of n features that may also be called a vocabulary or a dictionary, while m is the number of documents that we have in our dataset. Now if we consider a dummy dataset that has got 4 documents from D1 to D4 and the first document is this is a document. The second document says that is D2 says this document is good and then we have document D3 and D4. Now these documents have words in different arrangements and their length is not equal. So this data as we said earlier cannot be provided to the machine learning techniques. In fact, we would want to structure it into something like this, like we have got documents from D1 to D4 over here as rows and all the unique words, that is the vocabulary of this dataset is being arranged as a set of features. This can be considered as a frequency or a count based representation in which the number represents the count or frequency of this feature in this document, like this appears once in document D1. The same way document appears twice in the document D3. These numbers that are nicely structured into rows and columns of equal length can now be used to train a machine learning model. And this is our target representation that we want to achieve from this module. That is structuring the data. The structure although is going to be the same that is the number of columns and rows would not be affected but there are different schemes which we may decide the representation of a feature in a given document. Like in this case we are using frequency or count based representation. Similarly we can have other representation schemes as well. So next we would look into them one at a time. Thank you.